Today I'm going to show you how to change the battery in the uh, Fishman Loud Box. Now, if you guys have this, you know how great of an amp it is, right? Uh, if you don't have it, you're in the market, I would recommend it. I like it a lot. I mean, keep in mind the size. It's not crazy concert loud, but it's just right uh, for doing small venues. So anyhow, I bought this amp not that long ago, and uh, the battery has progressively gotten worse. So. I called Fishman, and right now we're in the coronavirus season. Everything's going on with that, so I wasn't able to get through to anyone. But I understand it had a sealed lead acid battery in it, so I, uh, I took it apart already, so I know what battery it needed, and I'm going to show you guys what you have to do. It's very simple, all right? All you need is an Allen key. One of these. You know what? I'm going to work on getting a little bit more light here. Hang on one second. Let me close the camera. All right, so I'm back. Um, so, like I said, just need an Allen key, okay? Very simple. There's bolts on the sides, bolts on the bottom. The way I recommend doing it, take the bottom bolts out first, but very importantly, don't take them all out. Take three out or four out. And when we get this apart, you'll see why. This is, these are four bolts that are actually holding the battery in place. If I take them all out, when I start moving this amp around, it's gonna bang around, the battery can pull on some wires, you just don't want it. So I take out three of the four, leaving one tight. All right, and this will just cut down on our time when we, uh, when we get that part opened up. Come to think of it, there's one more tool we need, and that's a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm gonna to have to run out to the garage and get it, but we'll keep moving with this for now. All right, so we take those out. All right, so we got those off now. Next. We just kind of wiggle this real gentle. And the reason I say gentle is because there are some sharp edges on it and you don't want to scrape the, uh, the leather uh, casing. All right, so that just lifts out like that. Now, there's a couple wires here. None of them you have to undo, except for the battery wire, okay? If you can see here, it already undid on its own. All right, but that's the battery wire. That's going to the battery in the main housing, which is down in the bottom here. All right, so this one I did undid because it's short, okay? And I put this aside. Now I'm gonna pause the camera just because I have to go get a Phillips head screwdriver. All righty, I'm back, I got my screwdriver now. So, what you will see once you get this open, I hope you can see this, I'm not sure if you will or not, but there are three screws, one, one in the middle and one on this side. All right, and they are holding the front grill on this. Okay, so we simply remove those three screws, like so. Phillips head screwdriver, one, directly on the front of this okay so you see how that grill came right out there's a little tab holds it in place the three screws you loosen them and it comes right out all right now we got to take this larger of the two speakers out the four screws out pull it out of the housing get the woofer out Two wires, disconnect real easy, boom, boom. Set that aside. All right, and now you can see the battery. All right, that's housed right back in there. All right, so you see how the bracket is. I took out three of the four screws holding the bracket in place. Now I'm gonna take the last one out. But uh, like I said, I didn't wanna do it when it was up like that because you could, when you're moving this thing around, the battery could be flopping around and there. there's uh, the wires to the speaker, there's the speaker. Um, it's just uh, 
much better to do it this way. So now I'm going to kind of work from the bottom. And I put it on my table here just so I can get to it. So, whoa, we don't want that to happen. I think I could probably tilt this up a little bit if you wanted, but yeah, this seems pretty straightforward to me. One screw off. Okay, I'll get that out. So now, all we have to do... Oh, we got the last screw out. Again, I'm keeping them separated because they are a little bit longer. Alright. And we're going to pull the battery out. And there's a positive and a negative on the battery, just like all batteries. Alright. Negative black, positive red, it's marked very well on this housing. All right, now I'm gonna show you what battery you have to order to do this. They're like 15 bucks eBay or Amazon, whatever. It's a uh, 12 amp, or 12 volt, five amp hour battery. Uh, NL5-12, that's what this one says. Um, I just typed in this model number, 6FM5. They're the same thing, okay? okay. I, I would assume that it wouldn't be a problem to put a bigger battery in if you if you want to extend the life, but in doing so, you're going to add some weight to this thing. So if you're lugging it around and you need you don't need that much battery power, I would just keep it original. All right, it's a nice design. So here's the old battery coming out, new battery going in. Brackets in place. I'm going to put my ground down first. And now I'm going to put my positive lead on. Uh, just want to bend that up a little bit, the tab. There we go. Makes it a little bit easier for the positive lead to go in. Also, it looks like there might be a, a, a fuse switch here. So, we're going to put that on. Alright, make sure our connections are tight. Which they are. Won't wiggle off. And now we're going to put this back in place. I'll put it the same way it was. So, it's that easy. Alright, so as you can see, very straightforward. Now we're just putting it back together. First I'm going to start with the bottom bolts. All right. Alright, so main thing for this, you just want to make sure you put positive to positive, negative to negative. Alright, and we're going to put the speaker back in. Again, on the back of the speaker, now if you forgot which wire goes where, there's a positive and a negative. Positive and negative on the terminal. Okay, so if positive is red, negative is black. Actually, can only go one way because they have these terminals one bigger than the other, so that's easy. Uh, all right, so they're on there. Line that up. Snug. I'm kind of moving fast here, so I don't want you to be bored. Bored with this process. So this goes back on. Okay, just like that, very straightforward. We're going to tighten down the screws. I didn't even bother taking them out of there. There you are, just sitting in the right spot, so no need to pull them out. And 
again, with something like this, you're just screwing into particle board, so don't go crazy tightening these. If, uh, if they ever come loose, you could always go back in and re-tighten them, but if you strip it out, then you're going to have a speaker grill that keeps falling off. Okay, so I'm just snugging them down nice and easy. Snugging it down. Last one here. All right. So now, finally, we put the head back on. All right. We have, again, I said the um, the battery wire came off, right? Because it's a shorter wire. When you're putting this back in, you don't want to mess up this pleather. So just do, just move nice and slow. You won't have a problem. If you if you pull it quick, you might you might scratch it a little bit. All right. So I'm gonna start putting the head in. Just like so. And now I'm going to reach in and attach the battery wire. And if it comes off, don't be nervous because it can only go back on one way. It's keyed a certain way. And it's a simple connection. Like plugging in a wall outlet. And it clips. It'll, uh, it'll snap when, you're, when you have it in place. But if you have big fingers like me, there you go. You hear that little click? So now I know the battery's in place. All right? I'm gonna slowly, again, slowly, we're gonna put this down because I can see it binding up a little bit if you move fast. So we're slowly putting it in place. That's it. So, at this point, all we have to do is put our free screws in on each side and uh, we're pretty much done, but I'll turn it on just to make sure the battery light's on. Now I noticed that, and it blew, blew through this pairing, so it's working. Um, if the battery light flashes really fast, that means that the battery is disconnected, or there's a problem with the battery, all right? So um, if you get this thing back together, and you turn it on, and that battery light is flashing really fast, or it doesn't come on, just check that battery connection, okay? Um, and that's it. So I'm going to finish tightening this up and uh, leave some comments for me if you like this. I'll, I, want, I have some other musical stuff I'd like to review. You know, my guitar, microphone. Um, I just picked up the uh, Fishman blend, or uh, something blend, earth blend or something like that. It's the uh, pickup humbucker pickup with the microphone, so I've been toying around with that. And when I get that under my fingers, I, I was thinking about doing a review on that because I've seen a few of them, but uh, you know, there could always be some more reviews out there. Also, some of these people that do this stuff are way above my level. I just like put, picking up a guitar, plucking a little bit, and uh, strumming. So, um, so we'll look forward to that. If you guys want to see it, let me know. And if you want to see some more arcade stuff, that should be coming out soon too. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Signing off for now. Bye-bye.